Hey everybody, Tim Poggle with Country Visions Co-op. I'm here today with Dennis McGuire from Landmark Co-op and we're going to ask some questions about Tar Spot. Dennis, my question to you would be, what did you see last year in Tar Spot in your territory? But before we get to that, can you have a little bit of background on what you do at Landmark? Uh, I'm an agronomist for Landmark Service Cooperative. Uh, I've been an agronomist for about 30 years. I've been working with Landmark out of Judah, Wisconsin for the last 25 years. Um, my trade territory that I cover is Green and Rock County and I do get into the northern tiers of Illinois. So last year I understand that you had a severe infestation of tar spot. Can you explain a little bit more about what you saw? Okay. Uh, last year was the last growing season was the first year I've actually ran into tar spot. Um, we started noticing in probably the second week of August some fields were having some issues. Uh, as we were talking about it from the windshield, just kind of scouting them, we thought maybe it was uh, all the rain we had. We were losing nitrogen, sulfur, potassium. It was started in soils that had always shown the first stress whenever we see some type of stress. After we got out into the fields, uh, we started noticing the tar spot on the leaves, on these plants. Um, it spread throughout the county. Um, uh, this way, I don't know. About a week or two. Yeah, it, it spread throughout the county in about a week or two. Um, I'd never seen anything move as fast as what this has. Um, we could find lesion or find the tar spots on just about every plant in the county. Um, sooner or later, the fields did seem to get to get covered. So I would say it covered just about a hundred percent of the corn trade territory that I work in. Okay. So in terms of what did you, what did, once it's identified, what did you do um, at that point? Was there any uh, curative action taken or what's your game plan moving forward? Uh, when we first noticed it and started doing some research on it, everything we heard kind of related that it was just a cosmetic problem that we were going to see in the plants. Uh, we did not put any curative on or do any curative programs at that time. We did notice that programs that had a preventative plant health on them where we had sprayed some fungicides, the tar spot did show up, but our plant health stayed better throughout the entire growing season. Um, wherever we treated crops twice with a V5 application and a tassel application of a fungicide, those were by far the better standing cornfields that we had. Um, any farms that we side dress nitrogen where we kept fertility programs up. It all helped in the standability. The main issue that we saw with the tar spot, um, we were fortunate enough to be planted early so our corn was far enough along when it did set in. Um, it would kill these plants completely dead within about a 10 day, two week period from once we first noticed the disease showing up. Uh, so the plants were far enough mature. We didn't lose a lot of yield uh, for the growth of the plant, but we lost it in standability. Um, we had complete fields that were flat, 100% um, flat. Uh, so where we had sprayed the fungicides, where we'd taken care of the crop and kept it healthier, did improve it. So we didn't put any curative on, but where we'd put some preventative stuff on, we did some see advantages to it. Okay. So how many uh, growers would be in a dairy market in this, in this block to give? Uh, we have a, quite a few dairy in our area. I just try to give them a heads up on if we do have this tar spot, how fast would the corn dry down? Okay. Um, I deal with about 50% of my customers are in the dairy business. Uh, we get a lot of corn silage acres. Uh, we saw instances where we were out doing whole plant moisture checks at about 74%. And within 10 days, um, when we went back, they had dropped into that mid-50 range. And that was with rain actually in the forecast where I, we probably picked up a couple inches of rain in that 10 day period. Um, so even with the uh, moisture, wet weather, those plants completely dried down. Uh, the leaf tissue, the stalk, the cob, uh, the whole plant moisture just went out of it in a, very rapidly. So the, a lot of meetings over the winter on awareness, or I, I believe the way it sounds, you had experienced the, almost the epicenter of this, but how many other meetings or resources have been promoted this winter? Uh, between the seed companies, university, um, chemical companies, I bet we could go to a meeting once a week. Um, every company had issues with it. Um, 
so all like I said, all the seed companies, uh, every everybody was dealing with this issue. So what I gather, the the preventative mode of action is probably going to be the best bet to handle this disease moving forward. Balanced nutrition, mm. trying to keep the stress off the plant as much as possible. Um, in terms of application with equipment, uh, ground rigs versus air, is there one over the other or just try to blanket this program to try to keep it as healthy as possible? Uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, the V5 applications going on. Um, we're already out there with the machine. It's economical to do. Um, so that's the first line of defense. We do have an awful lot of aerial booked at the VT time. Um, and we're gonna see how the summer progresses. Um, but I know the, from, from my experiences and from different, pe different people that I've talked to that have dealt with this, um, we're gonna start out as healthy as we can and try to keep them healthy as long as we can. Perfect, thanks for your information. You're welcome.